What's up everybody, Garrett back here, and what I want to talk about today is not one, but two brand new 4Ks from Screen Factory that I just got in that I want to unbox and talk about now. Alright, so if you guys are not aware, Screen Factory has been having a lot of issues with their 4Ks, um, either they were getting pushed back or disc replacements. But the newest thing has been going on, especially with the child's play, is that outgassing or off-gassing, where basically the case comes in with like this greasy film on it. Um, when I did my unboxing of child's play, I really didn't even notice it. And then all of a sudden I was watching my buddy Pizal's channel and he did a live unboxing and noticed that film. And not only was it on the case itself, but it was also all over the discs, like all this greasy smudging and stuff. Um, then I went in and I checked it out and of course mine had it as well, especially on the discs. So it took me a little bit. I had to clean it all off, but they play fine. Now I'm finding a lot more people are having these issues with Screen Factory and they're making it seem like it's just kind of a normal thing. So getting these brand new 4Ks from them, um, I wanted to check these out and see, are we still running into the same problem or not? Now, first, I'm going to start with the Funhouse, because if you didn't check out the stream last night I had with the boys from Dead Pit, um, I actually did a live unboxing at the beginning of that video um, for Funhouse. So Funhouse is a Toby Hooper film. Love this movie. Um, you know me. I've been talking about me not really upgrading a lot of my Screen Factory stuff just because I have pretty much the complete collection as is. And I have to go back and really just start updating and upgrading all these again. I just really don't want to do it the state of the game. I've been doing this way too long. I have to be very picky on what I'm upgrading to 4K because honestly, from DVD to Blu-ray, there was a big difference. I feel from Blu-ray to 4K, there's not that much of a difference that I really need to have these unless it was loaded with all new features. But Toby Hooper's Funhouse is one that I thought was going to look really, really great. Uh, the aesthetics of that movie, especially in the carnival scene, were some of my favorites, and I absolutely love this movie. I wanted to see this at the best possible quality available. So as you see, it does come with this slip. Now, again, I do like the fact that these have the original poster artworks rather than the commissioned art that we got in the Blu-rays. Now, it was kind of like the Wild West with these. Like, some would have commissioned art, some would have the original poster art. I couldn't figure out why. I like everything to be nice and organized and uniform so to me it's like if we're going to do the 4k's the original post to art let's do them all that way or vice versa but it just seems like we're getting some commission some not it almost seems like the titles that they're coming out with on 4k that are not upgrades new titles that, that they're adding to their library i think those are getting the commission so things like alligator krampus child's play two and three those are getting commissioned artwork that you can put on the discs itself but then when you look at things like funhouse they live Prince of Darkness, they're all getting the original post art. So that's the only thing I can think of if they're trying to make any sense of this at all, or it's just the Wild West. So looking at this, there is no new special features on this. It gives you the Blu-ray that I already had in the collection uh, as the second disc that has all those features on it. Great features though on that Blu-ray disc, but nothing new that I haven't seen yet. Now, as I take this slip cover off, you're going to see that it does have the original art. I don't even know if this has reversible post cover art on there. It does. Um, oh, so it's got the other artwork. I actually like this one a lot. So I'm going to flip it because I do like this artwork a lot as well. Uh, both original arts are really, really cool. So it's got that cool addition there where you see the teeth and stuff. Really, really cool. It just sort of brings me back. Um, and inside you see we've got the 4K, we've got the Blu-ray, and you have no film, no slime, no grease, no off-gassing on this one. So this one is clean and clear, which is really cool to see. I did watch this, so I will tell you this. Honestly, I love it, but do I think this was worth an upgrade? No. Um... No, I feel like it looks great, but it doesn't look that much different, if different at all, from the Blu-ray itself. I even popped on the Blu-ray really quick just to kind of compare and contrast, and I didn't see that much of a difference, even though this is a new 4K scan uh, from the original camera negative on the Blu-ray itself in this and the 4K. So, you know what? I did use the Blu-ray from this and not my old Funhouse Screen Factory, so maybe it is better looking, but... Um, between the Blu-ray and the 4K in this set alone, there was not much of a difference. So 
I don't know. I guess I can't go and say definitely not worth it, but um, I don't think it's going to be night and day of a difference personally, but I love this movie all in all, and I'm glad it's getting another treatment. Anybody who hasn't got this one, who has missed out on it before, I definitely recommend picking up Funhouse. All right, now the next one I have not opened yet. I have not watched it yet. So this is going to be more of like an unwrapping, unboxing, uh, opening of this, and I will showcase it for you. So uh, not many people have showcased either of these two yet. So I think I might be one of the earlier ones to get these. So um, I'm happy to kind of do this now, and I want to see what's it going to look like in here. Am I going to find Grease or off guessing? Am I? Is it going to be here, or was it just the child's play thing? I don't know. So I'm going to open this thing up now taking this wrapper off and again same story uh no new features as far as i know everything is ported over from the blu-ray that we already had i think this has like a newer audio track um as well and obviously the 4k restoration uh was done by studio canal who would put out the fog already along with other John Carpenter movies. So again, you're getting that same transfer here. If you already have that edition, I would probably say this is not necessary for an upgrade. But like Funhouse, I absolutely love The Fog. Love it. Uh, one of my favorite John Carpenter movies, but in a very different way. The Fog to me is a movie, I would say a comfort movie. There's something about this movie and the atmosphere and the feel that I could put this on at any time and either watch it and have a great time or maybe do some work and stuff while it plays in the background. It just has a real nice feel to it. And to me, I've always found The Fog is like a comfort movie to me um, and something that I've watched around Halloween for probably, I don't know, most of my life since I was probably a teenager. I would pop The Fog on sometime in October. It was on TV quite a bit as a kid and it was always part of my routine. And I think I'm gonna save that till October and get this thing in and watch it for the first time this Halloween. So as you see, it does have the slip cover, the original poster art again, which I really do love this artwork. Um, I think the fog artwork that they did on the Blu-ray that commissioned art, I think it was from Jason. And I think that was a real good commission piece as well. But I really like this artwork here with Jamie Lee on it. So um, you got that fog. Boom. We got this here. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to get as the second one. Maybe with the pirates walking or something. Let's see. So commissioned art. No, I don't think we got some that. We got something else. Oh, we got this one here. Eh. What you can't see won't hurt you, but it will kill you. Um, I don't like that art. I don't even know why we got this. I don't even know what this is from. That's the first time I've actually seen that artwork. It might be from like another country, but uh, yeah, the. I'm going to keep this one on there. I kind of wish we got like something more like this um, from like the old DVD, like that green with the, with the pirates kind of walking through the fog. Uh, all right, let's check this out here. Looks good. Looks good. And looks good. So again, no grease, no off-gassing, which, again, is great, but at the same time, when Scream Factory was writing letters back to people that were complaining about their child's play, they were making it seem like, oh, it's just something that happens to Blu-rays, to 4Ks, so no big deal, just clean it and it'll be fine. So, if it was something that seemed so common, again, nothing, nothing on this too, so again, I'd rather not have to clean my disc, but they're making it seem like it's more of like a regular thing, but... I'd never seen it um, on a lot of my other stuff in my collection, so I don't think it's as common as, as they kind of made it out to be when people were complaining. But um, we got The Fog. We've got Funhouse. Two awesome movies uh, I'm so glad to have. Now, I'm hoping for a great upgrade on this. I know Studio Canal does a great job. And uh, if you guys do not own either of these movies, I'm going to say right now, this is the way to get them. So you got the brand new 4Ks with the original poster art slips with a bunch of features on it. And like I said, is it worth an upgrade? I would say if you have the Blu-ray of Funhouse, keep it. Uh, Fog, I cannot give you that answer yet. But if you do not own these, these are the additions to get from Scream Factory. The nice 4Ks with the Blu-rays included. Guys, thanks for checking this out. This is Garrett at Born to Be Rad. And like always, stay rad.